What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Active Self Protection Extra. I am Christopher Bean with Tactical Advantage, and today we are going to talk about mirror image shooting. Today's video is brought to us by Barrel Block. Barrel Block is an excellent dry fire training aid that we've used for years and recommend. It provides an easy to see indicator that your firearm is empty and safe for dry practice. It comes in all service calibers and can be installed and removed in seconds without disassembling your gun. It's an inexpensive, easy way to give more margin for safety, so go pick one up today. How's it going, everybody? So I, I think about it a lot that I, I talk to people about learning on a weekly basis. And I thought it made a lot of sense to put my money where my mouth is, uh, to really try something I'm not very experienced at, and experience the learning process over again. So predominantly I shoot strong hand uh, or my normal or proclivity of shooting and I have really not put any work into mirror image or using my weak hand as my, my lead hand. Uh, so basically for me that would be my left hand as my, my strong side hand. So. Uh, I reached out to a couple folks and I got some stuff together. Uh, first things first, Brian Horton from Filster sent me a Filster Floodlight 2 set up for left-handed shooting uh, so I could go on this journey and kind of work through this. So really that's what I plan on doing at least a couple times a week throughout the next year or so and really refine my ability to shoot mirror image. Uh, so I figured we'd start with just doing some, some baselines, but I want to reiterate, I do not do this much. Uh, so I am a rank beginner uh, as far as using my left hand to draw, uh, things like that. I am not good at it. Uh, so really, the reason why I decided to go down this path is I want to experience what it feels like to not be good at something, to have to kind of work through and, and learn how to do things well, which is what the majority of people that probably watch these videos have to do themselves. Uh, so I want to experience that with you. So as I go through and I periodically make a couple videos in this series, and I'll do updates later in the year, um, hopefully there's some things because I'll gain new perspective, and hopefully you'll gain some new perspective as well. So to start, what I've got is a two-second par on my timer. I'm about five seconds away from an IPA target, and I'm just going to do a series of about five draws uh, just to see what that kind of look like, looks like. About a week ago, I worked on this for about 10 minutes or so, and it, was, uh, it needed work. <laughs> so we'll see if I can actually pull off some draws today and, and just see what that looks like. All right, here we go. Okay, so I got my dot pretty good, but I did notice as I came out, there's a pretty heavy want to drive the gun that way and bring it back to the alpha zone. Uh, certainly not trying to go fast. I'm just trying to wrap my head around what needs to happen to get a reasonable draw out. So let's get another. So that's something I can work on. I do have a laser cartridge in the gun right now. So I'll try to incorporate a trigger press this time. Uh, a two second par did not make that with the trigger press. So uh, my current mirror image draw is not below two seconds. That was right at two. So if I had to say my average or my guess would probably be right at that two second ballpark. Uh, so we've got a lot of work and a lot of low hanging fruit we can go after. So yeah, 
this is going to be a fun thing for me to try and do. Uh, but this is also really important from a conceptual point of view. Not being afraid to try and work on things you're not good at. Uh, and I am not good at this. Uh, so it's going to be a, a challenge for me to kind of work through all the things because it's been years and years and years since I've had to experience things as a novice. Uh, and I think that's really important to create novelty in your training, uh, create things that are different because at the end of the day, the better you get at any particular thing, the higher your overall aggregate skill level. And that's really what I'm trying to achieve. Um, plus, I think it helps me better express these ideas, uh, periodically refreshing what that feels like uh, to explain things to you guys. So. Hopefully this is fun for you to watch, watching me uh, ride the struggle bus a little bit. Uh, but probably once every few weeks I'll, I'll send in an update. But right now our baseline is right at two seconds for a draw. Uh, also see a lot of volatility in my sights with that draw. Uh, but man, I, it feels interesting going all the way through with everything. The clear, the draw, everything. It feels uh, very interesting. So. As we kind of head out, I do want to thank Brian from Filster again for sending me this holster to work with. Uh, and I'll give you guys a little tip. Uh, really why I'm trying to do this uh, is in October of 2024, uh, I am going to be assisting Riley Bowman in his pistol intelligence class at Apache uh, Firearms Training in North Carolina. And if you're unfamiliar, Riley has a set of standards called his Pistol IQ standards, uh, which are a pretty spicy skill set to reach like the mastery number, uh, or a pretty spicy set of standards to reach the mastery number. Now, reaching the mastery number isn't really the point. It's more of a measurement of where you are. Uh, but my hope is, uh, with some diligent work, I'll be able to reach mastery in that class uh, both strong and weak side, or primary and secondary hand shooting. We'll see how that works out, but that's the goal right now, and, and I want to take you guys along for the ride. So, with that said, uh, keep up the good work. I will see you guys next time. Thanks.